her and Black Girls Do Bite. Um, she had a vision, and through that vision, with bringing biking and cycling into our community, um, especially for African American women, and I really want to tell her thank you. Um, when we talk about recovery, I want to thank all of you for being here. Deborah and uh, Craig, I want to thank you for sharing your stories. Growing up, it was very, very hard for me and understanding uh, what my father was going through and what that dis addiction disease was doing to him and what it did to my family. I commend you all. He has uh, been clean for over 10 years and I'm thankful for that. Um, and that's what brings me out here today to not only encourage each and every one of you that are recovering addicts to keep going forward, to take it one day at a time, because I know it's definitely a struggle, but also to encourage our young people that are here today uh, to, you know, to understand not to even pick up one drug not to pick up or drink addiction starts with just one and I want to I want to encourage you to um, if you feel yourself struggling to talk to your parents to talk to a teacher to talk to one of your loved ones because um, we can help you we can help you before it gets too bad and one part of our community today that has faced a lot of trouble as it pertains to drug addiction, they're out there redoing the streets and uh, doing a complete streets program. And so we're trying at every level to be supportive for, for our community. Again, I want to thank you all for coming out. I want to thank our great police chief, Leron Singletary. He's going to go out and ride today. Uh, for going out to ride, but for also being supportive for everyone in our community. Um, again, thank you all very, very much for coming out. 